I kind of love to know why Bennett. You know, out of out of all these places, um, you know, there's been some struggles the, um, with the budget and with you know, enrollment. Obviously, the recent, um, or I would say, more abrupt um, leaving of Miss Dawkins. What what about Bennett? Maybe you say this is the one. Well, this is an incredible time to be working with HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities. They have a compelling mission at Bennett. We have a compelling mission at Bennett um, that we are preparing women to go into leadership roles around the globe. And so the mission is what drove me there first. The challenge is the second thing that drove me there. It's an exciting opportunity to say, what do we want to be for the 21st century? What's next for Bennett? There's this incredible fundraising campaign 9.5 million dollars in 60 days. What that says to me is there is a love of Bennett from all around the United States in particular. So what a great chance to be able to build on some of those assets. What's the first order of business so when, you, when you get in there? What's the uh, first move? So I have about 20 years of experience working in higher education and working on issues around transformation and so I always like to start with thinking about, let's really diagnose what's going on. Let's understand ourselves in a deep way, looking at the data. And so number one, let's look at our data. And secondly, then let's think about what are the plans that we need to help us think about the future? How do we think about where planet goes from here? But number one, it's thinking really, really deeply about where we are today and where we want to go. Where would you guys say you are today? Uh, well, I, st I start still in a few weeks. Um, I think where we are today is we have a strong set of alumni, strong students, faculty, and staff. So we have these and a beautiful location. And so what a great place to start. Next up, what do we want to be for the 21st century? Focusing really on social justice and civil rights I think is a really important component. It builds on our history and it's a natural next step. We also have to stabilize. As you said, we have some some areas and some challenges, we have to stabilize as part of that planning going forward.